why and the how that you started a lowly side hustle and have grown it now to revenues of five million a year. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So I started my side hustle, which now has become my main hustle. Sure. Uh, yes, but I started about 12 years ago when I was in college and I kind of fell into the side hustle. It wasn't really something that I was planning on. So I'll kind of give you the background on it. So I'm the founder and CEO of a company called Prep Expert. We do test preparation, college preparation for students who are looking to come to the United States for college, help them raise their test scores on the entrance exams, which are typically the SAT and the ACT. So the way I never, though, thought I was going to start a test preparation company. Originally, what happened was I grew up in Las Vegas, Nevada, which had not the best education system. And so we had a 40% high school dropout rate and I was not... Four zero, really? Four zero, yeah. Wow. That, yeah, a lot of people just go to start working in the casinos rather than finishing high school. For me, education luckily was still valued by my parents. And so when I took my first SAT though, I only scored about average. So I wasn't really this genius standardized test taker. I was good in school, but just not a good test taker. And, and I suppose with just average scores, that wouldn't bode too well as trying to get some of the into the top universities or get it scholarships. Yeah, right? exactly. So that was really my dream to go to some top universities, get into some competitive medical programs, and most importantly, get a lot of scholarships to get college paid for. And so I spent hundreds of hours studying for the SAT, was eventually able to raise my score to a perfect score. So that was pretty incredible because that's something that only 0.02% of all students achieve, which completely opened up college and scholarship opportunities for me, got into yeah. universities, won half a million dollars in college scholarships. And so totally life-changing. When I went to college, all I really wanted to do was help other students improve their test scores by writing a book. I thought I had a lot of great insights, strategies that helped me that sure. I wanted to put together in a book for that would be the first book by a perfect score. And so I pitched this book proposal out to about a hundred literary agents and publishers, and every single one rejected me. They said, You don't have a platform to write such a book. The okay. SAT preparation market's too competitive. And so this, I think this is a great lesson for those of you who are starting side hustles in the audience, which is when you get a bunch of rejections like that, sometimes you just need a pivot. Don't give up. I literally emailed out a hundred. I was like, I can't get rejected a hundred times.